Hello and welcome to our evening reflection for Tuesday the 27th of July. How are you getting on with the compulsory wearing of face masks? Perhaps you have been erring on the side of caution and have been using one already for the past few months, so you may have become accustomed to them. Maybe you don't mind using them yourself, but find them intimidating on other people. A supermarket full of masked customers seems surreal at best and threatening at worst. Perhaps those of us who grew up in the era of cowboys and Indians in films and on TV may still associate the idea of the mask wearer as the body, just as the person in the balaclava or with a stocking over their face could easily be identified as the bank robber in another genre of film. Hiding our face makes it difficult for people to see our expressions and to sense what we are feeling. It makes it hard for us to express sympathy or compassion or indeed any emotion unless we do so in words and then they may be muffled and hard to decipher behind a mask or a scarf. Of course, we don't always need a physical mask to hide something of our true selves from other people. We have become adept at hiding behind many different masks. There's the coping mask, where we put on a brave face and insist, me? Oh, I'm fine, rather than admit that we are struggling. Then there is the brave, oh, no, it doesn't really hurt much at all, mask. When out of a desire not to worry or trouble others, we make light of our pain rather than ask for help. And then there is the, yes, I quite understand, mask to hide the fact that deep down we are very hurt by being let down by someone we trusted. Think about the masks that you wear at different times. Often we put them on with the best of intentions, to spare the feelings of others or to stop them worrying about us. But sometimes they are put on to protect us not from coronavirus, but to save us from letting our true feelings show and laying bare what lies deep in our hearts. We can be a bit like these little Russian dolls that unscrew in the middle. When you open one, there is another, smaller one inside, then another and another, until you reach the tiny doll at the centre. And that is where our true being lies, after all the veneer, all the outside layers have been stripped away. We can fool other people sometimes about our true feelings, but we can't fool God. Our reading tonight is taken from Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18, and then 23 to 24. And I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? 
Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the furthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. There is no hiding from God. He knew us before we were born. He knows every thought we have before we utter it. And wherever we go, he is there waiting for us. In Matthew's Gospel, we are told God loves his people so much that even the hairs on our head are counted. So there is no need for us to don a mask for God, with whom we can be our true selves, laying our concerns and burdens before him and opening our hearts to him. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Thanks be to God. Amen. And we close with a prayer from the Iona Abbey Worship Book, published by Wild Goose Publications. Let us pray. O God of life, of all life and of each life, we lay our lives before you. We give our lives to you, from whom nothing in us is hidden. You are before us, God. You are behind. You are around us, God. You are within. O God of life, you know the secret thoughts of every heart. We bring the faith that is in us and the doubt. We bring the joy that is in us and the sorrow. O God of life, you are in the light and in the darkness. We bring the knowledge that is in us and the ignorance. We bring the hope that is in us and the despair. O God of life, O generous spirit, Renew us with your life, tonight, tomorrow, and always. Amen. <laughs>